Welcome to Merrick's Garage. I'm heading up to B&B Metals to pick up tubing and plate for the M1101 A3 rack build. My objective is to get a rooftop tent platform that I can raise and lower accordingly. I would like to have a platform that raises about 16 inches, 12 inches higher than it would be during transport. That would enable me to have better access to the bed of the trailer, give me the opportunity to lower it for decreased rim resistance. And if I can design it, I'd like to figure out a way to secure the sides when I lower the platform so that I can secure the contents within the trailer. So come on with me. Behind me, you will see the rack of DOM tubing. DOM or drawn over mandrel is a superior, stronger, more precise version of tubing than just regular seam welded tubing. Drawn over mandrel is tubing that is solid core that then has the center core bored out. To give you a very consistent internal diameter, external diameter, wall thickness and size. Well, I'm back from B&B Metal. I am really excited. Well, as excited as you can get over metal tubing, which for me is pretty excited. So what I accomplished today was getting the foundational pieces for my rack build. As I mentioned earlier, I'm looking for a rack that I can have an elevating platform. I kicked around a bunch of ideas on how to do that, but what I discovered when I was up there was 1.5 inch diameter, 0.95 wall, seamed tubing, here's a scrap piece, 1.75.95 DOM tubing, sleeves really nicely. I've got about a 30 seconds of an inch play on either side. This will be my upper telescoping piece of the platform. It will sleeve inside the DOM tube, 16 inches, 16 inches, Total overall height of about 32, probably gonna be closer to about 30, as I reckon I want about two inches of overlap in the tubing itself. I'll drill once I've got it in position and put a pin in, some sort of uh, assist lift on here to help with the raising and lowering of the rack. What's nice about the DOM, in addition to being very precise, there is no center seam. You can see this is seam welded, which they do a fantastically good job with this now, but it can often leave to a raised section. You can have a slight seam on the internals of the tube, changing the overall internal diameter. The DOM tubing has no internal seam, giving it a consistent internal diameter, allowing it to sleeve nicely. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along. As always, if you like what you see, subscribe. If you have any comments, hit me up in the comments section. I love interacting and fielding all the questions. And hey, if you've got a better way of doing this, let me know. I'm all open to ideas. This is just stuff that's coming off the top of my head. So thanks. We'll catch you later.